Hello and welcome to yet another lecture of basic electrical engineering. Myself, Koti Assistant Professor of Dr. Shubhish Chandra Shodhikri Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So we have already learned the RLC circuit in the video and corresponding RL and RC circuit along with their impedance triangle, voltage triangle and also the resultant phase diagram. Today we will discuss about the series RLC circuit. So let us discuss about the series RLC circuit. So this is called the series RLC circuit. But the voltage across the R is VR, voltage across the L is VL, and voltage across the capacitor series VP. So this is generally known as a series RLC circuit. So we have just drawn the series RLC circuit. This is RLC circuit. The series one. So in order to do this, we are taking a circuit and providing a current source. You see current source. So because it's a series circuit, so current source remain, current will remain same throughout the circuit. So it is written as IT equal to IM sine of the negative. So let us take an resistance. R in series with the inductance and followed by in series with the capacitance, capacitor, inductor and the capacitor. We have already known about the inductive reactance and inductive. So this is the resistance R. This is the inductor or inductance or in L as in the capacitor. See, so voltage drop across the resistor is Vr, followed by the voltage drop across the inductor is Vl, and capacitor is Vc. So inductor is Vl, and the capacitor is Vc. So we have basic idea that what is the leading and lagging when we acquire. Take, we are taking the current as a reference. So you want to know that the voltage across the resistance will be in same phase with the current, but the voltage across the inductor that will lead the current by an angle 90 degree, but the voltage across the capacitor will be lagged by an angle 90 degree. And value of, so let's just Do it that is known to work with the resistors and the corresponding reactance value is zero and the impedance is z equal to r with r angle zero degree followed by the inductor which is omega l the inductive reactance and it is given by z l equal to z omega l where omega l plus 90 degree and what is the capacitor the value is one by omega c it is z c equal to one by j omega c so that is if that is j is direct multiplying so it is plus 90 degree and it is 1 by j so that is now we have to multiply with upper side with the j and lower side with the j that is the j square is the minus 1 so it is minus j omega c so that is means that is a minus 90 degree because j is at the denominator so this is already known to us so let us start with the rlc series circuit so the instantaneous voltage across a pure resistor is the VR, which is in phase with the current. The instantaneous voltage across a pure inductor is VL that I have told it is lead the current by an angle 90 degree. And the instantaneous voltage across the pure capacitor is VC and it is lagged by an angle 90 degree. Therefore, VL and VC are 180 degree out of phase and in opposition to each other. This is known to us. This is VS and this VL and VR is as they are 90 degree apart from each other, total is 180 degree apart from each other. 
So this is the rate. That is the general representation of VR. That is VR is in phase that we have already done. That VR is in, in phase. VL is lead the leads I and VC is lag I. So that is the VR, that is the VL, and that is the VC. The general notification is that VC VR is always same phase with the that is if it is I. So VR will be always in the same phase with the I and VL will need the I and VC will lag the I by an angle 90 degree and it is, it is lead by an angle 90 degree and it is lag by an angle 90 degree so it is seen that they are hand and VL and VC are the total hand and 80 degree apart from the each other that we have just told that I have just told so that is the thing that I have just done that the voltage across the VL, VC and uh, VR that is VR is always at the same phase with the I where is the VL is the 90 degree where is the VL is the 90 degree uh, lead with an angle with respect to I and where is the VC is the 90 degree lag with respect to the angle I that we have just done so let us apply the conception of series RLC circuit the voltage the voltage will be given that Vs that is the input voltage minus Vr that is the voltage across the resistance minus Vl minus Vc equal to zero so Vs equal to Vr means IR the voltage across the resistance and Vl means LDIDT and Vc equal to Q by C so Vs equal to IR plus LDIDT plus QC so we have to find the phasor diagram phasor diagram of RLC series circuit. Now we just concentrate on the phasor diagram of the RLC series circuit. Let we are taking I as a reference because I will remain same throughout the this is a series connection, so I will remain same. And now we are coming to the VR. VR will be always in same phase with the We are is always in same phase with the I. So let's take that is the magnitude will be more compared to the RIs. So this is VR. And now what is VL? VL will be 90 degree lead with respect to VR. So this is the VL that is 90 degree leading. And what is VC? VC will be 90 degree lagging with respect to VR and value will be small with respect to VL. So say this is VC. Okay, that we have done. So now what is the resultant voltage? Resultant voltage in order to find the resultant voltage that we have to take the this will be your resultant voltage if I take both VL and VC so it would be VL minus VC so this portion is the magnitude of the VC so the same magnitude I am taking the VL minus VC so if I take the con minus VC, minus VC means if I take the conception of minus VC means the magnitude will remain the same, but the direction will be changed. VC became now that minus VC. That is the minus VC. The magnitude, this magnitude is from this one to this one will remain same, but the direction is changed. So from where we have to draw the VC from the top. From where we have to draw the minus VC from that origin point, O point, or from the top of the VL. The answer is from the top of the VL. So now from the top of the VL, just we have to match those arrows. We have to draw a minus VC. This magnitude and this magnitude will be same. So this is OA. So the OA magnitude will, and let's say we are drawing OC, the magnitude of the OA, and so it is GC. The magnitude of the OA that is the 
magnitude of the OA will be the same as the magnitude of the OC, only the change in the direction. And from we have to draw, we do not have to draw from the point origin, we have to draw from the top of the PL that is called minus VC. This is called this portion is known as minus VC. We have to draw from the top of the DL because we have to match the arrow. So what is this portion? This portion is this portion, the OC portion is VL minus VC. VL minus VC, the OC portion, the OC portion will be give the VL minus VC value. So what is the resultant? The resultant will be this one. Seen that the resultant is leading by some angle. This is the called the resultant value V. So what is the value of the V? V will become VR plus VL minus vc it's a j notification and it is leading by some angle called say phi that we have already done real minus vc plus r that is the result in vs that we have found that is the value of the vs that is real minus vc that is known as vs the resultant value and the angle displacement between them is the that I have already done 90 degree they are leaving and this one is lagging by an angle and like that we have already done that VC and VL and from where we have to draw right there and from where we have to find the equivalent voltage with respect to the current that we have seen so from where we have to draw the VL minus VC. So minus VC has to draw from the top of the VL, not from the origin. Magnitude will be the same, only change in the direction. So now the voltage triangle said that V squared equal to. So what is the voltage triangle said that? V is squared equal to it's a chain notification. It will be give that V R square plus VL minus VC all square. So what is the resultant value of VS? Resultant value of VS will be root to bar of VR square plus VL minus VC all square. Is the resultant value of Vs, the magnitude of the Vs. So this portion is Vc. So what is the tan theta the angle? The angle can be found that tan phi will be in terms of voltage will be Vl. This portion is Vl minus Vc. Vl minus Vc. Let's draw it in a bold way. L minus VC by VR, the angle is equal to 10 inverse real minus VC by VR. So that is known to us. Thus VR is the IR, VL equal to I into J omega L and VC equal to I into 1 by J omega C. Just put those values, we have to find the impedance triangle in order to find the impedance triangle. Just we are putting those values that V squared equal to root over IR squared, just replace those V R by IR and VL by IXL and VC by IXL, we just find the value of V S equal to IS, I into Z. So the Z value that we are obtaining, the Z value that we are taking, the Z value that we are obtaining, total impedance of the circuit can be written as R square plus in 
12 minus x square. Now from the impedance triangle, it is easily seen that if I draw the impedance triangle, so this will be represented as R, this will be represent, uh, I think, XL minus XC, same. Uh, XL minus XC is known as XT, X of XT, and it will be represented as a Z. So the J term is coming for the 90 degree rotation. So that is theta. So Z can be represented as R plus j into x sub xt or in other words we can say j into xl minus xc so for that particular j value that is the 90 degree rotation that is occurring in this direction there is a 90 degree rotation will be occurring so the value of from that triangle impedance triangle value you will just easily find the value of cos theta the cos theta will be give x l minus cos theta will be give the 90 degrees so the cos theta value will be give Five we give R by Z sin five will we give X L minus X C by Z and ten five will we give X L minus X C by R. That we have seen cos phi equal to R by Z, sin phi equal to XL minus XC by Z, and tan phi equal to XL minus XC by R. And just putting those values, the impedance values can be find, just putting this omega and L values, so it will be written as root over R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C. whole square this is the way that z can be written so let us take an example a series rl circuit containing a resistance of 12 ohm inductance of 0 0.15 henry and a capacitor of 100 microfarad and connected in series across a 100 volt 50 hertz supply calculate the total circuit impedance the circuit's current and the power factor and the draw the phasor diagram so we have first concentrate on the xl xl equal to 2 pi fl f is given 50 so 2 into pi into 50 into 0 0.15 equal to 47.31 oh so capacitance capacitive reactance inductive reactance that we have find and we have now concentrated on the capacitive reactance that is x equal to 1 by 2 pi fc equal to 1 by 2 pi into 50 into 100 into the power minus 6 because it is given as it is given in 100 microfarad so 100 microfarad to farad is 10 to the power minus 6 it will give 51.83 what is the total circuit impedance? Z equal to given root over R square plus XL minus XC whole square. So 2 square square plus 47.13 minus 31.83 whole square. Just calculating, we're just getting the 19.4. So what is the current? That is I equal to Vs by Z. It is 100 by 19.4 equal to 5.14 amps. So what is the voltage across the circuit? R is Vr with I into R. 5.14 into 12. This is 61.7 volt. What is the real that is i into xl that is 5.14 into 47.13 that is equal to 22.2.2 volts and what is vc that is i into xc that is 5.14 into 31.8 that is 156.5 volts so power factor can be calculated as cos theta that is the power factor is r by z that is 12 by 19.4 then it was 0 0.9619 so the cos inverse 0 0.619 will give the 51.83 lagging why it is lagging 
because they are the indicator circuit that the value of the VL is dominate corresponding to the value of the VC. Corresponding to the value of the DC, that we have found the VL is dominate, so system power factor will lagging. So that is the general power factor. That is the general phase attack. There is a VR. So that is the value of VL minus VC. That only the magnitude we just 242 minus 130, 163.5, that is 78.5 volt. There is a resultant value and that is the angle 51.8 degree. This is a VC, that is the VL, that is VL minus VC. So that is how you can able to easily draw the power triangle. Is that diagram? VLC circuit. VLC series circuit. So today we have done about the VLC uh, RLC series circuit. You can easily find the power of the RLC series circuit that we have already done. Uh, phasor diagram of the RLC series circuit. Uh, you can easily find the phasor diagram of that RLC series circuit. The help of a mathematical problem and we are also concentrated on the resultant uh, we can easily calculate the power factor of the rlc series circuit and also the resultant vector diagram the voltage diagram of the rlc series circuit <laughs>